Hey everyone, welcome back to another brewery build. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear that right now, but uh, today's assembly and uh, leak testing of the kettles and the rest of the, well, not the rest of the one, but assembly and leak testing of the kettles at least. Uh, can't start the rest of the system up yet. Ran into a little bit of an electrical issue. Um, was tracing this socket back that I was gonna plug into towards the service panel and found out that it's cut halfway and the wires removed. So luckily I have an uncle uh, married into that is an electrician and he is gonna come out and basically all I gotta do is pay for parts. But uh, anyway, I got the uh, boil kettle slash HLT over here filling up. Let's go take a look. All right, I just put it in my uh, dish tank, well, my laundry room tank here, filling it up with water, and uh, see what we got. I found with some of the fittings that you can't really tighten them down too much. These are all weldless, so if you tighten them down too much, you have a tendency to compress the, wa the uh, rubber washer, the rubber gasket on there, and uh, doing that is not necessarily a good thing because when you do that, it flares out the uh, rubber gasket and then creates little gaps. So you just put them in finger tight and it seals it up nicely. All right, sorry I didn't show you guys everything with this. Um, finished leak testing the uh, boil kettle and HLT. Um, one thing I learned with these, and I didn't, wasn't quite sure on it, so I didn't do it, is to make sure you use uh, Teflon tape the white Teflon tape on all of the threads just uh it's an added seal I mean it didn't really have a whole lot of problems with leak testing it on this one I had a little bit coming of water coming from underneath there um, put Teflon tape and that fixed that problem um, it was the same thing with the heating element I actually didn't put Teflon tape on it that just need a little bit more of a turn I don't I'm trying to keep that away from the Teflon away from the exact uh, where the heat's coming from. But that's all sealed up. I gave it a little bit, another eighth of a turn and that fixed that problem. Now with this one I found, it had a different gasket on it and as you can see, it's not there anymore. Uh -huh. Well, Teflon taped the probe and then it had this flat gasket on there. I don't know if you can see that because of the light, but uh, I put that on there and it's only on finger tight. I found that uh, with some of them, if you tighten them down too much, you can actually create pinching, and I think I mentioned this before. Well, this one, it was pinching out, and it would flare out. So you just put it on finger tight, and you'll just see that gasket start to compress a little bit. That's about as tight as you want it. Most of these are hand tight. Um, the element's hand tightened. The probe's hand tightened. The only one that's not hand tightened would be the uh, ball valve. We got all that on there. And then... Uh, the bazooka screen's only hand tighten and I uh, had to bend it a little bit here at the end because it wouldn't fit in the kettle and then I also bent it a little bit there and flattened it out to keep it away from the element. Um, I'll be doing the same thing with the uh, mash tun here. That one will go a lot quicker hopefully. Sorry about all the noise. Uh, it would actually all be done right now but uh, as you can see I've got that going down here in the basement and it's a little dark you can hear a fan. It's been raining here all day today and uh, not too happy because one of the gutters was installed properly and it had water running down the house, side of the house, and uh, into my glorious basement. So we have that one quickly here. Hi, honey. Hi. So uh, anyway, we're gonna, gonna knock out the mash tun, get that all done. Uh, hopefully get the electrical in. I can't remember if I mentioned that or not, but uh, found out that the electricity is not hooked up to the service panel for this glorious, beautiful panel that you guys are now seeing for the first time. So, hope everyone's having a good one. I know I'm having my stressors, but I'm getting through it. I'm going to go up to the local watering hole and have a good time, sing a little karaoke, put some down. Cheers, everybody.